beverages that have an effect on people, whether that's hemp derived THC or eventually psychedelics, things like that, that actually give people a feeling that I'm bullish on. The hemp derived THC market has had a remarkable run for the last couple of years. There's some brands doing real revenue. And the entire premise there is that people, if they're, if they're looking to do something other than drinking, like it or not, the reality is that people want something that's going to make them feel something. It's just human yeah. nature. It's like, to me, that isn't arguable. And to sure. help, if, if these are, if, there's a difference between like the masses of consumers and people who have like substance abuse problems. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a totally other category here. Yeah. Obviously that has all its own nuances and, and uh, nothing but respect for that entire world. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the masses of people who just like to be social and like to um, feel escapism and social. I, I think it's a huge part of the human experience. Yeah. I know it's a huge part of the human experience. So non-alc in terms of like, fake tequila or replacement mm -hmm. tequila. mocktails mocktails like i think mocktails make sense in on-premise i.e bars and restaurants for people mm -hmm. who want to drink less yeah whether or not people will continue to spend 15 bucks on something that doesn't make them feel buzzed i don't know see mm -hmm. I, I think it's good for the world if they do i just think it's a small market yeah uh, but i i agree with you man 